Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about auditory development in children. You can find one question from this topic in various psychology entrance examinations. In this part of video, you will get a brief intro of different research and experiments and you will also get a brief insight about genetic predisposition. Let's begin with the concept. When we talk about auditory development then many pregnant women have reported that right their unborn babies seemed to move in response to loud sounds right such as uh, uh, vehicle horns or we can say loud speaker right and the research indicates that the infant might well be listening to her mother's voice while still in the womb so child can listen mother's voice in womb so an infant's sense of hearing is functional prior to the birth we can say right so when we talk about eyes you know child will be able to you know see after birth but when we talk about the hearing so you can say hearing will be functional prior to the birth but many researches indicates that child in womb cannot identify the voice of mother so they can listen the sound right but they cannot discriminate they cannot identify voices after birth auditory sensory abilities are tested by examine the infant's responses to different stimuli for example changes in an infant's heart rate will occur when the baby is exposed to sudden alteration of pitch or volume so whenever we will change the pitch or volume right there will be changes in heart rate and there will be changes in heartbeat of a child it has also been found that infants are more likely to show a startle reflex and they will present a startle reflex when they counter loud sound so we can say child born with the ability to respond to loud high pitch sound or threatening sound and we call them right startle reflex whenever child will respond against loud sound high pitch sound and threatening sound we can say that is startle reflex i will make a separate video on newborn reflexes and in that particular right video i will try to explain a startle reflex in detail so just after birth the newborn's auditory canal often are filled with fluid right that's all. that's you know that is the region and because of this region the newborn's hearing capabilities may be impaired but just after 2 or 3 days infant's hearing capabilities will quite efficient right and uh, researchers investigated parameters of hearing by providing newborns and infant with a variety of pure and complex tone to study right the development of a uh, auditory right system in a child and according to right leventhal and lipset newborns are able to discriminate sound with different duration loudness and pitch and according to burz and smith right 6 month old infants are almost as sensitive to sound as adults are so a 6 month baby will be sensitive equally sensitive as compared as adult and newborns appear specifically reactive to human voice so they will be reactive for the sound but they will be more reactive for the human voices one study presented by clarkson and burge c l a R K S O N Clarkson Clarkson and Burge in which they presented that 
newborns appear reactive for vowel sounds too right this may indicate a genetic right predisposition in fact considering human sound more favorable right this is this is right uh, 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 genetic predisposition right they will consider human voices more favorable especially the kind of sound that needed for language development later in their life and it has also been demonstrated that sensitivity to sound seems to increase until the child reaches approximately 12 to 13 years of age and the sensitivity related to auditory related to sound will decrease in old age right i know this video right this 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 video is very short but hopefully this video will help you to understand auditory development processes and uh, if you have any query related to this topic please let me know in comment box bye